up, everybody? Welcome to Blue TV. You know how we do, giving them that raw, unfiltered, truthful, factual, basketball, knowledge, nothing out of context, everything in context, no revisionist history. That's how we do here. Right, because we tired of ESPN and FSN and their bias and all their narratives, their false narratives that got all these people absorbing all this shit, believing it. But I watched the NBA since the 90s and I even went back and watched games from the 80s and 70s. I know what I saw and I put everything into context. I have a great memory when it comes to NBA games. But anyway, let's get into the topic for this episode. And that is... Wow, 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 wow. Carmelo Anthony should have won Rookie of the Year over LeBron James. Point blank, period. And because LeBron James won this damn rook, uh, Rookie of the Year, that should have told you the fix was in for Bron on so many things. The fix was in. I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, Carmelo was necessarily a better player than LeBron in his rookie year. There is a solid argument that can be made, and it might be very well true that Carmelo was better than LeBron in his rookie year. Am I saying that Carmelo's better than LeBron for the entirety of their career? Absolutely not. That's stupid. Come on. They're on different levels here. They're on di Even after, if Carmelo was better than LeBron during Carmelo's rookie year, then any time after the rookie year, Melo couldn't touch Braun. And that's that's just the facts. But we gotta we gotta take a look at what happened back then in the uh two thousand uh what was that two thousand three, two thousand four season, that rookie year. What actually happened? We could look at stats and I could tell you what I saw and, and how everything played out. Now, before LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony got drafted, Melo to the Nuggets, Braun to the uh Cavaliers. Both of those franchises had losing records. And not only did they have losing records, but they had identical losing records. Before those two got drafted, the season before, both teams, the Nuggets and the Cavaliers, were sitting at 17 and 65, respectfully. Both teams. This, this couldn't have played out any better. Both teams had the both, both teams had the same exact record before they drafted them two juggernauts. Both of them, right? Now, when these two players got drafted, they finished the season with these records. Carmelo and the Nuggets in the 2003-2004 season finished 43-39 and in the Western Conference and made the playoffs, right? The, key, the Cleveland Cavaliers finished 35-47 and in the Eastern Conference and missed the playoffs. Now, isn't this whole thing with the rookie of the year and the MVPs is that we, we, or we, the, the panelists, whoever, whoever's judging, and I know the panels have changed over the years, but regardless, don't they, don't they uh, recognize winning as part of these trophies? To a lesser degree, uh, the, the rookie of the year, not as much as MVP because most rookies don't get drafted on winning teams. Most rookies don't make the playoffs, so usually it's a losing team. But when you do have a rookie like Carmelo Anthony that got drafted on that team and led that team into the playoffs in a much more difficult Western Conference back then. We all know how lopsided the Western Conference was uh, compared to the East after Michael Jordan retired. We all know how lopsided it was. And Melo was able to bring these boys to the playoffs in the West. But they completely ignored that when it came down to that rookie of the year decision, and they wrong for that. They wrong for that. They like to change the the the, the credentials for winning these awards the, whenever it fits the player that they want to win it. I've noticed that too over the years. At one one time, at sometimes it's who has the best stats. Other times it's the best player on the best team. But it's hardly ever. It's rarely ever who's the best player in the league. But but I get it. But I needed to be consistent. But that's beside the point. That We'll do that for another episode. All right. But now let's look at the season splits. All right. And both of their head-to-head -head matchups. And I, I'm not going to go over the stats. And, and, and they had uh, back then, uh, and still the case of the day, one game on, on each, uh, each player's home court. Right. 
Carmelo won both of those meetings in Cleveland and in Denver. Not only did he win both of those meetings, he outperformed LeBron in both of those head-to-head -head matchups. Okay, now the, their first matchup, they both played pretty poorly. Uh, I think LeBron had like seven points, shot like 20 something percent from the field. Melo was a little bit better. Still poor performance, but still outperformed LeBron. And then in their second matchup in Denver, it wasn't even close. Uh, Bron had a bad game, and I think Carmelo dropped like 26, 28 points, something like that. So it wasn't even close. Now let's look at let's look at their uh, their their uh, stats for that season. All right, I got them right here. Carmelo Anthony points per game twenty one. LeBron James points per game twenty. Actually, before I even go into the points, Carmelo Anthony minutes per game thirty six point five. LeBron James thirty nine point five. So LeBron was playing more minutes than Melo. He had more opportunity to fill to fill the box score up, but did he? Did he? All right, Melo points per game. Like I said, twenty one. LeBron James, points per game, 20.9. Technically, Melo scored more points, but, I mean, what are we, 0.1, whatever, right? Rebounds per game, Carmelo Anthony, 6.1. LeBron James, 5.5. Assists per game, 2.8. LeBron James, 5.9. Steals per game, 1.2. Carmelo, 1.6. Bron. Blocks per game, 0.5. Melo, 0.7. Bron. Uh, turnovers per game, 3 for Melo, 3.5 for Braun. Uh, field goal percentage, a 42.6 for Melo and 41.7 for Braun. Three-pointers, uh, three-point percentage, 32.2 for Melo, 29.0 for Braun. Free throw percentage, 77.7 .7 for Melo, 75.4 for Braun. Melo had more points overall. Melo had more rebounds overall. Braun had more assists, steals, and blocks. All right. So when you, when you look at the numbers, LeBron outperformed Melo in some categories, and Melo outperformed uh, Bron in some categories. Now I'm not I'm not going to sit here and get into the debate over oh which one is more important. Obviously, Melo won all the scoring stats, percentage watch, accuracy, accuracy, efficiency, and Melo had a better plus minus. For for those of you that in, that are in a plus minus, uh, Melo had a better plus minus. Than LeBron James as well. I don't put too much stock in the plus or minus, but the only time I, I tend to bring plus or minus up is when people like to bring it up and then don't like to bring it up when it fits their narrative. That's when I have a problem with plus or minus. When you want to bring it up when it fits your narrative, but ignore it when it doesn't fit your narrative. Let's be consistent here, people. But I'm not a big fan of it either way. Right? Melo beat him in all the scoring stats, totals and percentages, accuracy, efficiency, and LeBron got him in assists and blocks and steals but the the discrepancy was marginal in some of these so if you want to say that based on the stats here you know uh and points rebounds assists uh Melo takes those uh two out of three you can make that argument the blocks they were both under one block a game and they were both under um uh one steal a game so i mean Oh, no, 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 I take that back. They were both over one steal a game, but LeBron had 0.4 more. But when I look at these stats, I think Carmelo Anthony, in less minutes, did more and overall had better stats. But even if you wanted to say, let's just call it even on the stats, Melo beat him in both head-to-head -head matchups. Melo made the playoffs in the Western Conference. You tell me. And I'm not saying he was a better player than LeBron James, but in their rookie year, he very he very well might could have been. There is an argument to be made that Melo was better than LeBron in his rookie year. But I don't think there's any argument after that rookie year that LeBron was far better than Melo or better than Melo for the rest of their for the rest of their careers. But that that first year, that rookie, and I get it. LeBron James was still a teenager. Melo was had already done some time at Syracuse, Syracuse, and uh, was a little bit older. I get it. I, you know, I get it. But we don't take age into consideration when we're looking at these awards and looking at these statistics. Uh, more specifically, when it comes to the awards, there's no biases towards age, right? It's what you did, right? So, with that being said, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Carmelo Anthony deserved that 
mm, that award over LeBron James. Should Melo had been the rookie of the year, I think the fix was in. I definitely think that was Melo's award, and LeBron stole on that. The league stole on that. They wanted to get that thing to the king. They wanted to get that, get that thing to the chosen one. They knew exactly what they was doing. They knew that, but that, that should have been. I ain't even a Melo fan, bro. Not even. But he should he should have won that award. I think his stats were overall a little bit better. LeBron's a better playmaker. Totally expected him to to have more assists. Uh, but even on the defensive end, both of them were lousy defenders. Melo's been a lousy defender his whole career. LeBron didn't start playing defense till the 2008-2009 season. It was only because in those 2008 Summer Olympics, uh, Kobe brought the beast out in a lot of these players when they saw Kobe's work ethic and they saw what Kobe was doing on the defensive end is when they decided, LeBron decided, oh, you know, let me really work on this part of my game. Then LeBron came out the next season, the 08-09 season, and really added defense to his game. But LeBron wasn't always a great defender. Make no mistake about it. So both of them were lousy defenders. So I ain't scratch that. Scratch that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, this should have been Melo's joint. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, everyone's welcome here. That includes you, LeBron sexuals. Bron sexuals, you are welcome here. Y'all go to war in the comment section. Let me know. And uh, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Drop them comments, start that war, and uh, let's get it popping. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right? Salute. Thanks for watching. We out, baby.